Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Abyss Delights! In today's video, we are going to make the best moist mango cake. Let's start by preparing our sweet ripe mangoes. Yes, you heard it right. You should pick sweet ripe mangoes and it should be good quality. Because you know some mangoes are ripe but it tastes sour. Some are fibrous and some have bland taste. It seems like the mangoes are forced to ripen or maybe the mangoes are picked even if it's not yet matured. So in here, I'm going to slice the mangoes. I wash it already. We need to cut both sides away from the pit. Our goal is to separate the flesh from the pit. We will repeat this same procedure with the rest of the mangoes. Now that we're done cutting the mangoes, we are going to blend this because we are going to make a mango puree. So I will just make a crosswise and lengthwise cuts and I'm going to spoon the flesh and this will go to the blender until smooth consistency. And now we're done blending our mangoes. Now let's prepare our wet ingredients. I have here my bowl. And let's start by adding the milk, vegetable oil, vanilla, our mango puree, and vinegar. Then we will just mix this until all the ingredients are combined. And then we'll set this aside. Now let's prepare our dry ingredients. In another bowl, we are going to sift our all-purpose flour, baking soda, and salt and now that we're done sifting let's add the sugar and we will mix this until fully combined and now let's make a well in the center and we're going to pour our wet ingredients again we will mix this until all the ingredients are fully combined until it's smooth and no more lumps. While preparing our butter, I already preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. By the way, I would like to thank those who tried my ube moist cake or moist ube cake. Thank you so much for the compliments. Thank you so much for liking the recipe. I appreciate it so much. Now our butter is ready. It's already smooth. I cannot see any lumps anymore so this is ready and now we're going to transfer this to our pans I am using two seven inch pans let me just take my kitchen weighing scale to divide the butter equally actually this is my secret if you want to make sure that your butter is equally divided but if you are already expert you can just eyeball it we will just tap the pan three times and give it a shake to release the bubbles that are trapped in the butter will go to the oven for 25 minutes but you have to check it because it depends on your oven sometimes this will get cooked in 25 minutes some will get cooked in 30 minutes or so the best thing is to do a toothpick test insert the toothpick in the center of the cake once it comes out clean then it's done while baking our cake I will make our frosting I am using dairy whipping cream any brand will do Dairy whipping cream pairs well with our moist mango cake. Make sure that you keep your bowl and a beater in the freezer or in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before use. This will help to whip your cream faster. When whipping your cream, make sure that you don't overbeat or else your whipped cream will deflate and it will be grainy and it will start to form clumps of butter and you cannot rescue it anymore and you have to start over again. Going back to our whipped cream, this kind of consistency is what we wanted. I will just scoop around 2 cups of whipped cream, then I will add 1 fourth cup of mango puree. And using our spatula, we will mix this until combined. And then we have to taste our whipped cream. We can add more mango puree to really taste the mango flavor or the mango. Our mango whipped cream is ready. 
our mango cake is also done. We will just let this cool completely and then we will cut, fill, assemble and frost our cake. Now our cake is completely cool. We will cut this cake using cake leveler. You can also use serrated knife but I prefer cake leveler. And now we're done cutting the cake. Now let's proceed with filling, frosting and designing our mango cake. If you notice the mango whipped cream is not that yellow, you can add yellow food color if you want it yellowish or have a deeper yellow color. Though I already added mango puree, the color yellow doesn't change. I mean the color didn't change at all. Like it's just turned into beige so it didn't really give that yellow color. Maybe because the whipped cream is really white. And even if I added mango puree, it just turned beige. Anyway, I'm happy with this color because I will be adding ripe mango cubes on top. Let me just smoothen the cake using our cake smoother. Mm, I think I will use the cake comb to have a different design because this cake looks so simple. I will try this bigger teeth. You call it teeth or... I think I will try the smaller one. Oh, it's not yet that smooth, not even close to perfect. But I don't have patience now because I am excited to finish this design so we can taste the cake. <laughs> it's, more it's for my family anyway and all are excited to eat the cake. Let me continue the design by creating borders on top and I will finish this off by adding ripe mango cubes on top of the cake. See how beautiful it is. Like, it's it's fine if it's not yellow. You know, the whipped cream is not that yellow. It's fine if it's just beige color because you can see the bright yellow color of uh, mango cubes on top. This looks so beautiful. Ta-da! Finally, we're done! This is our moist mango cake. And this is what I've been waiting for. Let's cut and taste our moist mango cake. Mm, wow, this is so delicious. It's very moist. And the mango tastes really good. And the mango whipped cream, it's perfect. So refreshing. Hope you try this recipe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and please like, share, and subscribe.